Today, we are going to look at how to create a VLOOKUP interactive search filter, using the option button. In this example, once I select the product ID, and the option button, the required intended product details are filtered accordingly. Let's get started how we can create such horizontal and vertical filter technique by using VLOOKUP and MATCH function in Excel. The table is given for the product sales summary, and we are going to create quick sales analyst option by using horizontal and vertical search options. Once I select the product ID from the selection, the intended data to be extracted, such as product name, category and sales agent, in cell M8, I am going to filter the text such as buying price, selling price, total sales, and sales ranking by using option button. So, I am going to add an option button from the developer tab. If you can't see the developer tab, right click anywhere on the ribbon blank space, and choose the customize ribbon. The pop-up window appears, from the main tab, check to activate the developer tools ribbon. Select the option button control from the form control, and drag on the sheet to insert an option button. Next change the text same as given in the data table header. Copy the option button and paste it three more times to return me the column header as required in our sales analyst option. Select the option buttons by holding down the shift key, and right clicking the mouse. Select shape format, and align equal horizontal space, and middle alignment to arrange the option buttons nicely. Next, right click on any option button, and select format control. From the format control window appears, click the cell link reference box and choose any cell from the worksheet and hit OK. Now, when I click the option button, the value of the connected cell is changing to the order of the option button. Next, based on the option button selection, the text to be returned in M8. For this I will use index function. Hence, equal, index, the array will be from F3 to I3, where my text values to be returned and for the Ronam argument, I am going to choose the L3, which is the returned value based on the selection of option button, then close the bracket. Now you can see the text value is changing based on the selection of the option button. To return me the product name, I am going to use VLOOKUP function in cell N5. So, VLOOKUP, the lookup value will be my product ID. Then table array will be from B4 to K54. Comma, the column index will be 2. With exact match, and close the formula. Do the same to return the product category, and the sales agent as well. OK, next, in N7, we need both vertical, and horizontal search formula. Where, vertical search for the product ID, and the horizontal search based on the selection of the option button.
So, equal VLOOKUP, then the lookup value will be my product ID, and the table array will be before to K54. For the column index argument, I will use match function, where, it will return me the column number based on the text changes in M8. So, match, open bracket, lookup value will be M8, and I want to look at the value from the table header, hence select the head row from the data table, with exact match. OK, we have created our Excel horizontal and vertical filter options. Now, when you click the option button, the value for the selected item is automatically updated. You can download the this Excel template from the link in the description, and we have done it for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts on this tutorial, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos on exciting Excel tutorials.